Welcome to Planning with Ellie and happy Friday. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my niece's traveler's notebook. In one of my videos I mentioned making a traveler's notebook for her um, because her birthday passed and I did make a traveler's notebook and I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see it and a couple of you said yes. That's really what it takes. It really only takes one person for me to do a video for you guys um, because I want to make sure that everybody gets to see the kind of video they want to see um, but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you this is the paper pad that I used my niece is a very girly person she loves anything purses makeup nail polish glitter you name it she loves it so I figured that the Ooh La La paper collection would be perfect for her and I'm sure she's gonna absolutely love it I haven't given it to her yet because I haven't seen her um, but I'm hoping to see her sometime this week so that I can give it to her. Um, but before I did, I definitely wanted to film it to show it to you guys. But as you guys can tell, I've used this paper pad quite a bit. I really don't have, um, I have very few pages left of it. And that's because I've used it so much because it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, so you guys already saw me make this um, clear uh, this laminated pocket tag for her traveler's notebook now the only thing is that I didn't realize I made this tag too big so I made her a separate one and this one I figure she can probably use as a bookmark for her book so like if she's reading a book she can just pop it in there and put it in her book so I figured you know I'm still gonna give it to her because it's part of the same collection and so you guys already saw me make this for her so I just wanted to show you guys that but this is the traveler's notebook I love it. I think it's so, so pretty and well, let's face it, I wanted to keep it, but of course I'm going to give it to her. I used the Paris paper as her cover and I did laminate it. I also used the white elastic. Now I do have pink elastic from the Travelers from the Dollar Tree um, that I purchased, but the white one definitely looked a lot better. So I left the white one on and I added some little puffy um, high heel stickers over here. I just, I love putting like a little sticker, something that kind of tells what the planner is going to be of. So like if you guys saw with the swan planner, I put the swan in the middle because it kind of tells you what the theme of the planner is going to be. So that's what I decided to do for this one and it's absolutely gorgeous and I love how the trim sticks out and all the pom-pom. So let's go ahead and open it up. So once you open it, this is the first page you will see. You will see the lipstick, the little lips and I decided to pair it with some red doily and then I added some gold washi because I do have gold throughout the traveler's notebook. I added a cute little pocket, some really girly stickers, quotes, and die cuts for her. And I did double side this one because, as I told you guys before, with the Michaels paper pads, they're not double sided. So I did add some paper. I added the one with the bicycle, and I love it. I think it came out so good. I love, love how it came out. So I added the little pocket. And then for the book, let me go ahead and put this back so I don't forget it goes in there. And then this is the, um, I also added some acetate. This one is actually from one of my Planner Society boxes. I thought it went perfect because of like the roses, romantic theme that I have going on. And I did that to cover up the white um, paper that I have here so that it's not so plain. This is the book that I added for her. It's just a plain book. She is only um, eight years old, I want to say. Um, and so really she doesn't need a calendar or anything like that. I figured she can use it to doodle and draw or she can use it to write her friend's phone numbers or things she wants to do, etc. And then over here I added a really cute die cut from one of the Planner Society boxes. And it has the little roses on the hair and she loves that kind of stuff so I figured it would be perfect. And then I didn't do anything here. I left room, you know, for her to be able to do stuff to her planner if she wanted to. And then I added over here a little puffy sticker of the Eiffel Tower with the little roses. Over on this side, I added some little pink trim with the little tiny, um, the little bitty pom-poms. And then I added a pink doily. This is the lash paper. And then I added these really cute um, globe 
sticky notes from one of my planner society kits it's girly and i thought it looked really cute with it so over on this side i really like this page so what i decided to do is pair up four doilies and as you can see this is kind of like a minty color and then it has the pink so i did the um, kind of like the aqua teal doily with the pink with the teal with the pink and then i added a cute little card and i 3d foamed it so that it kind of stands out and it's just a, you know a little different type of decoration and i like it i think it looks really cute i'm obsessed with doilies this is the grid dot paper right here and for her tag i used this one right here um, I think you guys have seen me do a video on what to do with these tags. These tags came plain by itself and I just added a few stickers to decorate it. So I figured this can be her page marker so that that way she knows where she has her planner and when she needs to open it. And then I added a bunch of fun different type of ribbons and I just love these little curly ribbons. It's so cute. So I added that. I also added a little pen loop for her. If you guys remember, I did this in my latest tutorial, and let me tell you, that E6000 holds these elastics like crazy glue. It is super tight on there, and I love it. So I paired it with a little gold um, binder clip, and then a little elastic. Over here on this side, this is probably one of my favorite pages. This is a little pocket that I had. Um, I want to say this came... I want to say these little pockets, I bought them in a pack at Michael's and I thought the color combination matched perfect because I have black and white and then I have gold and then I added this little looking good um, pull apart card. I just cut it down to size, I rounded the corners and I thought it went perfect with this planner. So over here on this side, this is the same paper that I use, that Eiffel Tower paper with the little girl and the flowers. Even though it's kind of plain and simple, I love it. I think it looks fancy chic. And so I decided to pair it with my gold scalloped pom-pom, I mean not pom-pom, my gold scalloped ribbon. And then over here I had this little fun die cut from one of my um, packs. And since it was gold and, you know, she's a fun girl, I just decided to add that little word there. And I thought it combined perfect with this page. I want to say this is probably my favorite spot of the whole book. And then over here on this side, now this is a some pink vellum that I had left over from the Swan Traveler's Notebook that I made. And of course, this is, you know, a plain white page. So I decided to add the vellum paper to give it a nicer look. I added this little Hello Beautiful um, puffy sticker, some little stars, and then two girls just walking down the street with the little lamp, kind of like if they were in Paris. I added the number book for her. Again, it's grid dots so that if she wants to make lines, she can make her own calendar as well. And then over here on this side, same thing, pink vellum, white page. So I added the C'est La Vie sticker. I think it looks so, so cute. Over here on this side, because I wanted everything to show, um, the little girl with the little poodle and the Eiffel Tower and all the little hearts and even the little gold dots, I didn't do anything to it. I thought it looked fancy by itself. So I just added the scalloped ribbon to, um, to match the scalloped ribbon that I had on this side. But I think it looks so, so cute. And then over here on this side, I just added a cute little die cut. Um, this is a pull apart die cut. And what I did is with my die cutting machine, I went ahead and made it into this type of frame. And kind of just to give it a better look. I'm thinking of putting like a little bow up here, but I don't know yet. Um, I think because of the glasses, it might be a little too much. So I'm thinking of just leaving it, but we'll see. That's, if anything, that's the only minor change I have to do. And then I love the little red high heels. I think she's going to absolutely love that. So over here on this side, I just added some white glittered paper, kind of to give it a fancy little look. Again, she likes glitter, and I thought this would be really cute. And I didn't do anything to it because, again, if she wants to decorate it, she can do that too. And then I gave her this cute little fun book that says OMG's Yay. And then it has all these little fun things. She loves unicorns. I've told you guys that. And, you know, she <laughs> definitely loves all this little stuff here like pizza, strawberries, and whatnot. So I thought this would be cute for her. And again, it's just a plain, simple notebook. 
and I think she would love it. And then over here on this side, same thing, it's the little high heels. I added, I had to definitely add the girl on the bike because she is way too adorable not to. So this is a puffy sticker and then over here, puffy gorgeous sticker. Love that. And then over here on this side, I just added the little lashes um, pull apart card with a little doily and then a little perfume sticker so that she can use if she wants to decorate it. I added a little pocket from the Target dollar spot and then again this is what the paper looks like for this cover. But I think it came out absolutely adorable and I'm sure she's going to love it. I can't wait to see her face and her expression. So I'm really, really excited. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the planner and how do you guys like it. Um, I really do hope that you liked it as much as I do. Um, but yeah, that is about it. And also guys, I want to say thank you so much because ever since the Swan Planner, I've had, I already have a few orders for Traveler's Notebooks that I'm making for some of you planner girls. And I just want to thank you for your support. Um, I am, like I've told a couple of them, I'm working on a few and I don't want to rush through any of my orders because I want to make sure that you guys are happy with them, that you're satisfied, and most of all that you love it. So yeah, I just want to say thank you for that and I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Ali underscore plan with me. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.